guys and welcome back to Double The Reaction. If you don't know who we are, well who I am today, Molly is not here, she's left me all to myself again. Um, we are full time travel vloggers under the channel Dublin Travel. Be sure to go and check that out for some old, it is sort of old now, travel videos. It's been over six months since we last travelled but travel is upon the horizon from the start of September. We'll be full time travelling internationally again so make sure you subscribe to that but yeah just me today molly has left me i don't know why and i'm never the best on my own i'm trying to get the video to start now i've got stuff popping up everything's popping up. it all goes wrong when it's just me but we are ready um let me get straight into it today because it's a bit of a long video and that is the magic of vedic of vedic vedak math i think it is an ancient way ancient indian way of doing maths i don't know too much about it but i'm gonna get straight into it because it is a lengthy video, um, one or two, I'm going with just one. All right, let's do it. Advert already. These adverts after like three seconds, and we're good. Lessons worth sharing. Sure. I'm from India, and India is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. It has contributed to the world. Concepts I knew that. As yoga, Ayurveda, Spicy chicken tikka and Vedic <laughs> math. Vedic math is one of the world's Vedic and math. simplest way to do math. We're gonna to combine together and do some number crunching. Okay. So we, what we're gonna first do is multiply by eleven. We're gonna do it together. So if you blink, you're gonna miss it. So just 121, okay. right? Okay. So we're gonna do 32 times eleven. Okay. So we split. 3 and split 2 of oh, 32 and times two and paste it in top and you get the answer as 352 okay I thought you said 11 times 11 I was quite good there it is 121 that's it I don't know how we just done that the other side, <laughs> 45 times 11 that's your exactly that's 495 and 75 times 11 so it gives you 7,125, one gets carried over and it becomes 825. That's our okay, I'm still a bit lost here. Okay, this is the principle behind it where uh, A is the coefficient. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna do is the base method. Okay, this is used to multiply numbers. I'm meant to be quite good at maths as well. Of 10, and I'm like thrown 10, already. And so on. So we have a sum here, say 99 times 97. Okay, now tell me, is 99 more than 100 or less than 100? Less by how much? So we write yeah. minus 0, 01. And 97 is less than 100 by how much? Okay. So we write minus 0, 03. So what we're going to do is we're going to cross subtract and get the first part of the answer like this. So we're going to do cross subtraction. 97 minus 01 would give us 96. And we multiply 03 times 01 vertically and we get our answer as 03. Let's take another sum. Okay. Try to do it yourselves. We got 98. This is, yeah, that's crazy. Is it more than 100, less than 100? By how much? And so, 0, 2. 3, so we got 98. 0, 3. We got 98 minus 3. Or we could do 97 minus 3. So, you get 95. That will give you the same answer. So, that would be giving us 95. 95. And the second part would be 0, 6. So, that's our answer. Okay. What? Let's take a bigger number. Let's try this one. And it's so yeah, easy. The base is 1,000. So we got minus 0, 0, 004, and 997 would be? Yeah, and minus 0, 0, 003. Zero, zero, three. Oh, this is interesting. Like this. this is why you don't need a calculator. 996 minus 0, 0, 003 would give us 993, and 0, 0, 004 times 0, 0, 003 three. Would give us okay. 0, 1, 2. And that's our answer. <laughs> and it 
What? Why do, why do we not get taught this in school? In the UK, I've never been taught this method. The base is 10. Okay, so it's 14. More than 10 or less than Okay. More, so we got plus 4. So plus 4, right? And 12, we got... And then plus 2. Again, we apply the same rule. So we do 12 plus 4, which gives us 16, like this. 16. And multiply 2 and 4, that gives us 8. So eight. now, all of us here, <laughs> we're going to do mental squaring. What? Okay? Everybody's going to This is crazy. And we're going to do squares of numbers more than 100 mentally right now. So we got 101. Okay, now visualize on the board what's going to be on the right hand side. Plus, plus one and plus one. one. So we got that. Yeah. Okay. Now we add crosswise, right? Yes, no. So we got 101 plus 01. That would give us 102. And 02. See here. Like this. And, this zero one and then 1 times 1 is 1. Right? So that would give us 01. And that's your answer. <laughs> What? Let's try. One, zero, two, it makes it so square. easy. Let's try everybody. So, so it's going to be plus zero two, plus zero two. So one zero two would be one zero four zero four. Okay, now the next one. <laughs> try it everybody together. I'll give you five seconds. Okay, let's, let's, it say, one, zero, nine, zero, nine. let's say it together. Okay? One zero six zero, zero nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Need a pen and paper. One zero four. Square. It makes the method so easy. Calculate five seconds. Come on, girls at the back. Okay, so the answer would be one zero. I'm not even trying eight, to do it again. One six. Eight. Okay, let's one the next one. six. Okay, one, zero, yeah. Five squared. Oh, no, 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 no. We're going to try over. We're going to try over, okay? Okay, I'll give you five <laughs> seconds. Just think about it. It's so easy. With a piece of paper written okay, down, I'm it's so easy. Go, okay? One, one, zero, two, five. Okay, let's gonna do the next one. One, zero, six squared. Try it. Come on, everybody. It's simple and easy. Okay, let's do it one more time. One, one, two, three, six. Two, three, six. Now, one, zero, seven. Think. Hold on. Don't say anything aloud. Just think mentally. One, zero, seven squared. Okay, now let's say it aloud. One, one. He's got everyone like that good, being an expert uh, with this method. One, zero, eight squared. One, yeah, 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 because you do the square root of eight. Six, six, yeah, yeah, eight squared, 64. It's so easy when you think about it like that. I don't know if I deserve a round of applause. I think this, this method needs a round of applause. This, where A and B are the excesses or the deficiency from the base. Now I'm going to teach you, in Vedic math, there are 16 sutras or word formulas. Okay? They're very visual, and one of them is called vertically and crosswise, through which you can multiply any number by any number in a single line. So I'm going to do two digit by two okay. digit. I'm really having to concentrate here. Let's do this. So we got 31 times... I feel like I'm back at school. Okay, so we're going to apply the vertically and crosswise sutra. And so we're going to do like this. Sutra. Vertically. Then we're going to go crosswise. And then we're going to do okay. vertical again. So 2 times 1 gives us... So 3. Two times oh, 2. 2 gives us... And 1 times 1 gives us... 6. 6 plus 1? Which is 1. 1 times 3 gives us? And that's it. And that's our answer. Three. What? I didn't really get that straight away. Oh, I have got it. I think I'm not the best one for this. To be fair, I'm actually better at maths than Molly, which is bad, isn't it? That I'm meant to be the better of the two of us at maths. The rough work is simple in one line. I'm going to show you a no calculator. Here. This time with carryovers. The same formula. All of us here can do this, okay? Same formula. So let's go start it. 4 times 2 gives us? 
Okay. Eight. So go crosswise. Four like times this. one. So we're gonna multiply four, four times one. Three times two. And three times two. Which is four. four and three times. Gives us. So you get ten. The one. So you get the one carries over. And three times one gives us. Okay. That's one. Four. Exactly. That's three one. carried to one four four oh eight. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm even getting it now. Thank you for being such a participative audience. That's such an easy method. Great time number crunching. Now I want to. I feel like I was part of the audience there. Whether you would like maths to be dull or boring, or fun and interesting, the choice is yours. There you go. Do you think maths is dull and boring? or fun and interesting? There's a question, that method was crazy. Um, you can see why in India, not many schools or things like that use the calculator, they use up there. And when you've got a method like that, it makes multiplying, adding so much easier. Like, they're numbers you wouldn't, normally you wouldn't think, oh, you can multiply 65 by like 55 in your head. You couldn't do it like that. But with the, that, you actually sort of can. I, 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 I'm acting like I can, I, I understood it, but I'm still not good at maths. Molly is, Molly's worse. Molly is worse than me at maths. That says it all. Um, but thank you for that recommendation. I feel like I was in school. I feel like I've actually learned something while watching the videos, which is good. Um, did you know this, this formula? If you did, then you're obviously very good at maths already. If you didn't, you've now learned something with me. But so, yeah, thank you for that recommendation. Um, I'm feeling a little bit clever now. I might use it on Molly later. Surprise at how much I've learned. So keep your recommendations coming and if you're new around here, make sure you hit that subscribe, drop us a like and keep on dabbling. I'm still not used to saying that.